I firmly believe that Nintendo is going to show off the next major 3D open world brand new Legend of Zelda game in 2025. In fact, they might even show it off before the Nintendo Switch 2 releases. Now, that might sound insane. We just got Tears of the Kingdom last year. We have Echoes of Wisdom this year. We've talked about how there is some teasing going on for an Ocarina of Time remake and even some far off hopeful thoughts about a possible Twilight Princess remake. And who the hell knows what the Grezzo team is going to end up doing after Echoes of Wisdom. They go right into making another top-down Zelda. They go back into remaking or remastering a classic top-down game. We don't really know. But what is clear to me is that I do feel, if not before Switch 2 comes out, because let's say Switch 2 launches in March, at least by summer of next year, Nintendo will have shown slash teased the next big Zelda project. Now, that sounds insane, but it's actually not if we look at the history of Zelda game announcements and more specifically the history of Fujibayashi's Zelda game announcements because he has been the director for the last three mainline 3D home console Zelda games. Now before we dive into this I just want to tell everyone hey we're on a road to 150,000 subscribers if you're enjoying this Zelda conversation and so much more I would appreciate it if you would go down into the comments below and let me know if you think I'm crazy, let me know if you're excited and let me know if this is a realistic expectation. I'd also appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel because we're on that road to 150,000 subscribers. Now, what I want to focus on here is the history of Zelda game teases and announcements to release. And we're not going to go over the remakes and remasters because they sort of have their own pattern of things and Aonuma potentially teasing things far before they're announced. And we're not going to dive into that because, hey, that, that that's a, a little bit of a different timeline compared to new games. But let's look at the Fujibayashi Zelda games. And when we say Fujibayashi, we're talking about Skyward Sword, Breath of the Wild, and Tears of the Kingdom. Because he's the director of all three of those games. And he's presumably the director of the next big game. We already talked about in prior interviews. We already had ideas for the next big Zelda game last year and chances are the game probably went into production went into some sort of at least early development last year so when we think about the next big major 3d zelda game what we have to think about is the past first we have to go all the way back to skyward sword now they originally were teasing skyward sword in 2009 they were showing off a piece of art for it behind the scenes ended up leaking online and you know things happen <laughs> that's just what i like, like things just happen and the game did not come out until the end of 2011 now it was supposed to release in 2010 that was the original stated release date but in the end the game did not come out until the end of 2011 so about a two-year gap from when they were initially teasing and talking about the game <laughs> technically behind closed doors that became public uh versus when the game came out so it was a little bit of an unintentional reveal of skyward sword in 2009 at e3 but hey it ended up happening now as we fast forward we get to breath of the wild now breath of the wild was revealed at e3 2014 but really what we have to remember about that game is it technically was teased by aonuma in january 23rd of 2023 when he made a public statement about the next big zelda game rethinking the conventions of zelda such as doing the dungeons out of order which isn't technically new to the series but wasn't considered a common thing in the zelda franchise so he taught, teased it all the way back in 2023 breath of the wild didn't come out till 2027 it's a four year gap if you want to go from e3 2014 to then okay it's a three year gap either way it was a pretty significant tease to release and we might argue, well, that was due to a new system coming out. They, they added a whole year on because it, the Wii U flopped. And hey, I hear all those arguments, guys. I get it. We're just going over the timelines. All right. So the game came out in 2017. It had its DLC and all that. Fine. Then we had a Nintendo tease. They teased Tears of the Kingdom 
in 2019 at E3. One of the greatest E3 surprises was not leaked ahead of time, made people just jaws drop to the floor. Holy crap, uh, they're making a sequel to Breath of the Wild. And that game didn't come out until 2023, which was four years. Now we can maybe tack on an extra year of development due to COVID. But the point is you see another three-year gap. So outside of Skyward Sword, where they didn't mean to tease it ahead of time, but accidentally did, the last two Zelda games, they teased about three plus years ahead of when the game was coming out. Now I've been on record saying that I don't believe a new Zelda game is coming until 2028, and that they would probably reveal it in 2026, because unlike Nintendo's other franchises, you know, the Marios of the world, the Mario Karts, the Kirbys, the Xenoblades, Nintendo likes to do a very, very long, build up in the marketing cycle for Zelda. They almost always tease Zelda two years minimum ahead of time. It's just what Nintendo does. You can also rely on every game missing its target release date being delayed an extra year. That's also a common thing in Zelda. Uh, but yeah, it's the one franchise Nintendo does tease the brand new, brand spanking big 3D games early. So when you look at 2025 and you're trying to build hype for your new system, you're already going to have a lot of hype going for yourself. You're going to have Mario and Mario Kart and Xenoblade and some other stuff, right? There's going to be other hype games getting people really excited for the platform as it comes out. But by the time you get to summer, you know, people might be wondering, okay, so we know about all the big slates of games now. What do we have to look forward to down the line? And that's where Nintendo could be dropping the giant reveal of their brand new Zelda game, which again, they're going to drop the reveal and then we're just not going to see anything about the game for like a year or two. That's just what Nintendo does. It'll be radio silent. We'll have remakes and remasters and ports and other things come out for Zelda in between. But hey, maybe even some spinoff games and new Hyrule Warriors. But here's the thing. They'll just not talk about it. They'll just go silent, just like they did with Tears of the Kingdom after 2019. They'll just go radio silent and then eventually start giving us more information a year or two or three later, depending on how long out it is. I do believe that Nintendo does want to get the development time of 3D Zelda down from six years. I don't think they like that six year cycle. If you look at the five year cycle going from 2023, that lines up with 2028. And I think they would like to get it out even sooner if they could. Uh, four years would be really ideal, although pushing it also depends like, are they reusing the physics system from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom just with brand new art style and art direction and a whole new world. Like there's a lot of unknowns about what they're going to keep from Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom beyond just it being an open world. But what I do want to focus on is this idea that it actually doesn't sound crazy to me that they could reveal this brand new Zelda game in 2025. It just doesn't sound insane because Nintendo tends to tease Zelda two to three years ahead of time. So let's say right now internally, their far off target is 2027. They really want to get this Zelda game out by 2027. Well, then of course they're teasing it in 2025. Of course they are. That's the typical two year gap. So yeah. And then you throw in a year delay, 2028. It actually kind of falls all into place with Nintendo's past. The only thing sort of throwing a wrench in it is that while well, there's a new system coming out, but it actually could be a massive selling point for the new system. If you look at how Sony ends up selling PlayStation 5s, at the beginning of a generation, they tease and promise a lot of games that might be two, three, or four years out. They do that because what it does is give people confidence to buy a system today, knowing what they're going to get down the line. Now, with Nintendo, they're sort of been the opposite side of the spectrum. Hey, we're gonna give you a lot to play right now, and that's why you're gonna wanna buy the system, but it doesn't hurt to have a looming project down the line that you can point to and go, see, we still have that big thing coming along with all the stuff we have coming out right now. And that big thing is Zelda. Zelda sells the system in a way that really no one else has. Like Mario hasn't had a big 3D Zelda game launch with a, or big 3D Mario game, sorry, launch with a system really since the Nintendo 64. And Zelda has now successfully launched two of Nintendo's biggest platforms. If you look at the Wii, yeah, Zelda was there at launch at Twilight Princess. You look at the Switch, yeah, Zelda was there again with Breath of the Wild. Zelda is a massive, massive proven system seller 
for Nintendo. And since they, we know the game's not just going to be ready to go next year, that would be insane. Like, did they Majora's Mask this thing and bust something out within a year? That is insane. But I do think that it is realistic that they could tease it. Now, we've talked a lot of Zelda at the channel over the last month and really over the entire history of this channel. After all, this channel, for those who don't know, used to be a Zelda channel. It was called Zelda Informer, and it ran side by side with a website back in the day. So there's no surprise that we talk a lot of Zelda here, but I want to get your guys' thoughts on this down below. Am I a little crazy right now for thinking this is even possible? And we're not even getting into like what this game could be, right? We, we don't know. We have Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. We could talk about things we want to see better from those games to the next one. But I, I also think the next one's going to be a radically new direction. It's going to be a new world with new characters and just new things going on. Heck, is Ganondorf even going to come back after he got nuked? Or is the game even going to follow up the events of Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom in terms of like happening after them? Or are they going to go earlier in the timeline and cover something else entirely? Maybe they're going to go all the way back and go to the ancient civilizations that seemed a little cyberpunky before Skyward Sword. Like they can go all over the place with Zelda, but I just think that Nintendo's in this unique position because they have a Zelda movie announced. And one of the coolest things to do with the Zelda movie announcement is tie a bunch of Zelda marketing together. So if you have the Zelda movie announced, Next year, you reveal the cast or whatever. Heck, maybe even you show the first trailer for that movie before the end of next year while you have a looming, massive 3D Zelda game announced coming out a, a couple years after the movie. And then be, besides that, you'll end up having some big, fancy remake and something else. Like Nintendo has announced multiple Zelda things at once. I mean, what if they're like showing off an Ocarina of Time remake at the same time they're teasing the next Zelda? Hey, this Zelda game, though, is still in development. Here's a tease. It's still a ways off. But until then, why don't you guys take a look at this? And then, boom, big Ocarina of Time remake. Boom, Zelda cast reveal. Like, this could be a massive summer event for Zelda fans next year. And we're talking, obviously, about their digital showcase in June. Could be September. You know, you don't really know which one of those events, because September usually also technically happens in the summer, uh, unless it's really, really late September, because summer goes through, like, the 20th or 21st of September. So I just want to throw that out there, see what you guys thought. Is this just a bad idea? Am I just insane? Or am I on to something? Just looking at how they've handled Fujibayashi games, even though the Skyward Storm was an accidental reveal at the time, I don't think they really planned to reveal that until 2010, but it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.